my videos. So this time I am driving an Evo 9 MR 2006 model to be exact from Prime Driven. And so huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. This is one of their giveaway cars. This is giveaway card number nine. They've given away MR2s in the past. They're a shop that specializes in Toyota MR2s and restoring them and building them and uh, working on them. Um, but they wanted to expand their appeal a little bit and give back to their customers uh, by uh, giving this car as a giveaway to anyone who purchases anything on their site. For every dollar that you spend, you get one entry uh, towards this giveaway. And uh, so, <laughs> this car though, it's, uh, it's been about six years since I've driven an Evo 9. I did a review of one, a stock one, about, again, six years ago, back when I first was starting to review cars, really. And uh, it was a blast back then. Now, this one has some really nice mods to it. It's not over the top. So many Evos are crazy modified these days. And this one is really in great shape, by the way. It has 110,000 miles on it and still runs and drives great. It's still in great condition because there's just very little to it. You know, you have on the inside here, just it's bare bones, you know, you have basic gauges, a basic little radio manual, you know, air controls, and that's it. There's no infotainment, there's no modern anything. Although you do have a USB jack here in this Alpine stereo that's aftermarket. Um, but anyway, it's all about the driving experience uh, with the Evos. They've always have been, even the Evo 10s, the newest ones, are fantastic. But the Evo 9 was even more smaller, lighter, even more on rails and just even more just driver focused and just they feel so light, so incredibly precise. It's really like a four door go-kart. That's the best thing I can compare this to. And so the modifications that Prime Driven has done to this one in order to uh, you know make it a little more appealing but without compromising reliability is really great. So they basically just did an in-gen intake and intercooler piping that helps with faster uh, turbo spool. And then it has an HKS uh, cat-back exhaust. You still have catalytic converters, still totally good. And emissions, you know, in 50 states and everything, totally fine for all that. Um, and that's basically it as far as the power stuff, uh, you know, it has a Mishimoto uh, radiator there too as well. Um, but, you know, they just did a few basic things, still on the stock tune, uh, still, you know, very much, you know, not far from stock as far as power. They're saying power should be between 300 and 310 horsepower at the crank. Um, other things mechanical they've done to improve this, you know, you already have still the six-speed manual in the MR versions, which is fantastic. It's just so short with the gearing. I'm currently just cruising in fourth, and it's like 3,500 RPMs just at, at 50, 50 miles per hour. So, I mean, it's... It just wants to rip and it'll go to 7,000 RPMs too, which is awesome. Um, but anyway, so they did improve that it has an ACT uh, lightweight flywheel, uh, a little bit lighter, you know, nothing too drastic. And then it has an Exedi uh, street clutch, it's like the stage one clutch. So good for this power level, a little beefier than stock, but without really being any heavier than the stock clutch. Um, and uh, still being really, really well uh, set up for a daily driver vehicle. And that's kind of the cool thing with this, is since they've already given away MR2s in the past, this is kind of cool for someone who maybe has an MR2 for a weekend car or something, but wants something to carry around the family in or as a better daily driver, you know, with the all-wheel drive and stuff. They can have this, uh, potentially, you know, anyone can win it, of course, uh, but especially to give back to those uh, customers that, uh, you know, purchase MR2 parts and, and all that kind of stuff. You can, of course, just buy merchandise and stuff off of their site as well, if you'd like. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a sweet car, though. So other modifications, again, they didn't do a lot, but the few things they did are really well done. So you have uh, Megan Racing coilover uh, springs here and uh, you know suspension setup, and that feels really really good. It's uh, you know not too not too stiff or anything. You know the Megan Racing coilovers are usually some of the best in my experience. I don't have a ton of experience. But back in the day, they used to make some really good stuff, and I think they still do here. And uh, you know it's you definitely feel every little groove in the road. But that's kind of the Evo 9 especially experience anyway. And so this just kind of makes that even better with even sharper handling, a little bit of a lower ride height to again help lower that center of gravity. Although the MR partially does that as well with the aluminum uh, roof and a few other things there to make it a little lighter weight. You know, you have that vortex generator there on the roof too, which is an awesome thing that uh, the Evo started and then kind of uh, carried on with other aftermarket companies and other tuner vehicles. But then it has XXR 527 wheels as well 
well. And uh, so those are 255 wide tires. It's on the Sumitomo all-season performance tires. That's why, even though it's wintertime here, we're able to have some fun on back roads because these are all-season tires, which is great. And to bring all this performance down to a stop, you have these big Brembo brakes with these drilled and slotted rotors as well, which look awesome as well as uh, obviously performing very, very well, especially in a car that's as light as this is. Uh, you don't need a ton of brake, honestly, but you know, they really over-engineered these. You know, it's a, it's a street legal rally vehicle. And uh, so it's certainly, it's good with that. But a little bit of a second gear pull. I'm gonna do a full throttle first gear acceleration in a minute or two here and uh, get the full experience. But I mean, this motor is really good uh, where it, it does start to make power fairly early on. Again, we're talking about, you know, these mid 2000s uh, turbo motors. So it's not like modern turbos where you have tons of torque down low. This, you know, you definitely gotta wait for it to spool up, but that's all part of, fun, part of the fun and the drama. You know, you hear the intake and and the whooshing sounds and all that kind of stuff is so fun. Uh, and then this brake too, whenever you lean on a little bit more of these Brembo's, there's really no pedal travel. You just have a tiny bit and then you just kind of lean onto that. It's almost like a more of a racing setup too, which is uh, very cool and just adds to the experience. All right, so let's turn down onto this back road here. We got a corner of it. Let's see how it does in first and second. and whatnot, 310 horsepower sounds measly, but in a vehicle this light and whenever you have short gearing like this, it really comes alive. It's just so violent. You give it a little bit of gas, then you let off, and that turbo, you get the little uh, flutter from the turbo and the shutter where you actually like lurch forward and everything. It's just so much more extreme than even, again, crazy turbo stuff these days. Everything's so polished these days. This had no polish, but that's what made it fun. I mean, and it's so communicative. You have steering that is actually pretty light. It's not artificially heavy like a lot of vehicles these days, um, And but it just is so precise. I mean, you feel like you could, uh, you know, have a slalom right down the middle of the road and be able to just zip, just zip in and out of it. I mean, it is so, I mean, it just it hugs so low to the ground too. It really is great. You know, I'm usually not a huge fan of heavily modified vehicles, but this one has all the right mods done to it. Um, but although the MRs could potentially become collector's items in the future, you know, because a lot of these vehicles like the 2004 WRX STI, those are starting to go up in value and Haggerty even listed that as a future collectible uh, that's you know, going to be worth big money someday. And I think with this, it can have a similar type of uh, situation to it. Um, but, uh, you know, just the light mods this one has really have improved it. And, you know, I enjoyed the stock one that I drove again many years ago. Um, but this is just even more visceral, even more fun again because of all the sounds that you get. Another acceleration here. <laughs> I just feel like I'm in too fast, too furious when I drive this thing. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just fun. It's just hilarious. It's a car where you never can take yourself too seriously. You know, you have this huge spoiler in the back. You have, uh, you know, the, the boy racer looks of the time period, the vortex generator there on the roof. And then you have all the whooshy sounds, the exhaust. But man, it is, I mean, even though it's hilarious with all the stuff and its whole personality, it's a serious performance machine and something that, you know, still is gonna embarrass a lot of modern stuff on autocross courses and, and everything else. I mean, just the simplicity and the lightness to this. It's just telepathic around corners. It really, really is. And you have this active center differential. This one, by the way, has had that pump replaced because apparently that's something that goes back because it's right there in the front bumper where it can get hit by stuff constantly. So this one has a new one of those, but that, you know, back in the day, you could change between tarmac, gravel, and snow. And so this has that too, which really helps to make this thing handle even better than, uh, you know, any other competitor from the day. And uh, it's just... <laughs> It's a beast. Uh, these things have always been loved by everyone. I remember back when these first came out and everyone was obsessed with them. Uh, at that point, you know, I was like 15, 16 and I was obsessed with them too, of course. Any of you who know me, I was more on the WRX STI side, but I also just always, you know, respected and loved the Evos as well, you know, because they were so similar in a lot of ways, but also a little different, you know, this isn't quite as comfortable as, uh, you know, the STIs. They're a little softer in a lot of ways, can be modified to be, you know, uh, pretty good much like this, but I think the Evo still has always been king, um, and uh, it's just the 
simplicity, you can't beat that. It might not be great for crash standards and all that type of stuff, but for a driver's vehicle, it's phenomenal. This thing has just cemented a grin on my face. I can't wipe it off. It's just, oh, it's a blast. I could just do pulls all day and keep repeating myself over and over again, but I think I basically covered, uh, you know, the magic of the Evos here, and, uh, you know, you can go back and watch my full review on the Evo back in the day that I did. I'll include a link to that too if you'd like. Uh, you know, all kinds of little quirks in this vehicle, like the boost gauge, which is all the way down to the bottom right here, buried under the HVAC controls. Worst possible spot for a boost gauge. Uh, but just little th things like that that are just kind of funny um, that, you know, I also point out in my review. And so you can go watch that for more of a detailed look at a stock one if you would like. But huge thanks once again to Prime Driven for sponsoring this video and for inviting me out here to drive their uh, Evo 9 here. It is a blast. And remember, you can win this. I'll include a link in the description below to their site where you can, again, any purchase you make on their site um, will get you, you know, some entries into this drawing to win this vehicle. And it's not just the vehicle. You also get $5,000 to cover the taxes. So you can actually keep the vehicle. Um, they also ship the vehicle to you. So, you know, if you're not near New Jersey here where they're at, um, not a big deal. You know, that all gets taken care of. So, anyone in the entire country, if you want an Evo 9, um, you know, this is one way you could potentially get one. And uh, so the contest runs until March 3rd, and uh, then they'll be probably doing another, uh, you know, giveaway of another vehicle after that. Um, but yeah, and then also if you have, uh, you know, if you uh, want to have some advice as far as your Evo, or if you want to have any kind of, you know, help or work done to your MR2, that's still their specialty, um, definitely, you know, reach out to them. They'd be more than happy to help you out with whatever your uh, tuner needs are. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on these in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. One more acceleration here. It just launches. <laughs> All day I'll be giggling and laughing. <laughs>